Hello and welcome to the Managing Uncertainty Podcast. I'm Brian Strausser, Principal and Chief Executive here at BrightPath, and welcome to episode 228, our first episode of the new year of 2024. I want to talk briefly about what you should be thinking about as you head into 2024 by simply talking about partners and calendars. One of the most important things that you can do as the resilience leader or as a resilience professional in your organization is build strong cross-functional partnerships within your organization. And that starts with FaceTime. It starts with having discussions with your stakeholders across the organization. So here on the first week of the new year, as you're listening to this episode, I want you to jot down the following to-do list, to-do items. The first one is, Make a list of all of your key partners and stakeholders across the organization. And I want to make sure that you put folks on here that you don't necessarily have the best relationship with. Those folks who have been obstacles to success with your program, who have challenged you along the way. But I want you to make out that list of stakeholders and partners that you need to work with across the organization. Then I want you to open up your calendar in Outlook or Google Workspace or whatever tool you're using, and I want you to set up time with all of them in the first quarter. You can make it over coffee. You can have a Zoom meeting. Maybe they're not, you're not in the same town as they are you know, or a Microsoft Teams meeting. But I want you to set up some time to talk with them about your plans for the program for 2024. If they're an obstacle, then I want you to, to plan to talk to them about the challenges that they see, about the feedback that they have around your program. One of the things I always encourage folks to do in these conversations is ask some hard questions. One of the questions I like to ask is, when my team calls you and you see that it's me or it's a member of my team calling you on the phone, do you pick it up and go, man, I wanna answer this call because this is one of the key partners I have that helped me make my business successful, that helped me move my team and my program forward? Or do you look at the phone when my team or I call and say, oh, God, it's that guy again. Which one is it for you? But you should ask that question. What do they think about? What is their perception of your team and your program? What is their perception of where your program needs to go? But also ask them about their business. What are some of the challenges that they're faced with this year? What are some big overriding priorities for them? What are some challenges that they want to address over the coming year in order to better their business? Are there places where you can help them achieve those goals? Having these kind of relationships are a critical step to you building more influence as a resilience professional in your organization and for your program to advance and mature. That's it for this edition of the Managing Uncertainty Podcast. I'll be back next week with another new episode. Be well. Thanks for watching our video. To learn more about how to manage uncertainty and disruption in your organization, be sure to like, follow, and subscribe to our video channel. And here are a few more videos that we've selected that will help you learn more about business continuity, crisis management, and crisis communications.